Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. As you know, the WBA regular lightweight champion American Gervonta Davis has two next fights scheduled. On January 7, he will meet with Gactor Garcia, and if he wins on April 15, he will fight with his compatriot Ryan Garcia. Gervonta claims that despite the planned two fights, he takes the upcoming fight against Gactor with full seriousness. I don't take this guy lightly. I know I have two fight planned, but right now I am only focused on the upcoming one. I'm ready to go through everyone who stands in my way," Davis said. Aureliano Sosa, the American coach, admitted that he was surprised by the choice of American Gervonta Davis regarding the future opponent. According to Sosa, Dominican Hector Luis Garcia is able to deliver a lot of problems to the tank. I'm surprised that Gervonta chose Gector. This is definitely a tall fight. This opponent should not be treated lightly. Tank will not have an easy confrontation, the coach said. Still, Sosa is confident that Davis will find an opportunity to knock out Garcia. Tank will have problems, but the difference is that Davis has a knockout punch. At any moment of the fight, he can punch and it's over. It will be a tough fight, but I think the Tank will catch him in the later rounds, the coach shot. Luis Garcia in turn said that he would be happy to fight with Ryan Garcia after defeating Gervonta. If I beat the Tank on January 7th, I will be happy to fight Ryan Garcia. I don't think my opponent is at the same level as me, Garcia said. The former world champion in two categories, American Shakur Stevenson, is not going to respond with the same grumpy coin to compatriot Gervonta Davis, who has repeatedly allowed himself to speak about Shakur in a dismissive tone. On the contrary, Stevenson is honest and recognizes Davis as a really strong fighter. But at some time, I'm sure that if they find themselves in the same ring, the outcome of the confrontation will not please Gervonta. I'm not going to belittle this dude and not give him credit. I think he is a damn good fighter, Stevenson said. Well, really, see you for yourself. He is performing at pay-per-view and knocking out all these dudes. However, that doesn't change the fact that I can beat this dude. This dude knows he can't handle me, Stevenson said. Recall that Gervonta Davis and Gactor Luis Garcia will fight on January 7th at the Capital One Arena in Washington, United States. Steven Espinoza, executive director of Showtime Sports, showed his expectations for the upcoming fight between the WBA regular lightweight champion American Gervonta Davis and Dominican Gactor Luis Garcia. I think it's a tough fight for the tank. This confrontation makes me a little nervous, considering what is at stake. It's just that Davis is going to have a big fight later in 2023. Gervonta could have chosen a much easier opponent. Gector is not a gift. I know that Garcia is one weight category lower, but he is a big guy and much higher from the tank. There is no doubt that he adapts perfectly in the lightweight division. I expect it to be a tough fight, Spinoza said. It looks like he is really not working with Mayweather and LRB anymore. But this does not mean that media representatives need to publish news received from an unknown source. In this particular case, I think Davies has done enough to show people that he is no longer under contract with Mayweather Promotions. And even thought, I don't believe the rumors, but I believe that if he reads something first and then deletes, it, there are reasons for that. Eddie Hearn shared his conclusion. I agree that all this is none of my business, smiles the pose of matchroom boxing. But when you ask me if I want to sign Gervonta, my answer is obvious, of course, yes. But it seems that his immediate plans are painted, so we will see what happens next. If they really broke up, then I think that Leonard will be very hard. But it happens. Contracts expire. Pfizer's leave. This is boxing, it's business. I'm sure that they will stay in the game together with Floyd. But there will be no limit to their disappointment, because they were an important part of the past that Gervonta went through," Hearn said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.